Greetings, everyone. And I welcome you all back to the finale of my adventures in Valkyria Chronicles. Yes, guys, we are one step ahead from completing the game and we are really, really close and I am recording straight from uh, my last recording session, uh, like even without uh, taking a break, since this looks like it's gonna be a bunch of cutscenes, so I want to see exactly how this all is going. Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. We, Maximilian, stand humbly before you. Your Highness, you must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. We'd expect no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian, to cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. And you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. It is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. The sovereign state of Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your empire. In return, by our treaty, and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the Archduchy. And then, Gallia shall be made anew under us. But... but we agreed. Then as sole master of this palace, we shall wake the lance that lies resting within its walls. Valkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> the lance? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian bloodline, legacy of the great House Rongris, would be a fitting dowry for us, king of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its power. Indeed. The reverence and respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face of House Rongris. Uh, your Highness, what are you doing? As you can see, my blood is not Valkyrian. It is Darkson. Princess, what is the meaning of this? Hmm. So she is a Darkson. Thousands of years past, the Valkyrer invaded from the north to lay claim to Europa. The indigenous people, the Darkson tribes, fought them for control of this land. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darksen cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Ultimately, one influential clan among the Darksen tribes defected to the Valkyrer side. The Darksen were defeated, and quickly became slaves to the Valkyra. And victorious, the Valkyra authored history to blame Darksons for scorching the earth. Of course, then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darksons lived on as 
Yes, as House Rondgris, the Archdukes of Gallia. In return for their betrayal, the Valkyrer established them as the rulers of Gallia. We donned the identity of our masters and were complicit in the Darkson's slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people quickly acquiesced to new rule. A common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came that I ran from that pain, trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost in that conceit. I am bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me. I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Gallia and its people. This, and this alone, is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead! <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Gallian brides share your lust for blood? <laughs> If you desire safety for your people, it would behoove you to obey me, Highness. The Valkov is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. Ouch! Cutscenes, cutscenes, cutscenes. Let's just relax back. Has something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangris. What? They crashed through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. Work on that. Did they learn of the Valkov's location? No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... My... my chest... It's tight. It hurts. Hmm? What? What's wrong? My... my heart... I... Help! Help me! Are you alright? Hey, talk to me. I'm sorry. <sighs> Forgive me. I've got to get to Rangris. I just hope I'm in time. Okay, then. Oh. How this will turn, I wonder. Never had a chapter just with cutscenes. We're growing close to Rangris now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive, focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melchiot in the previous battle. Exploit that, gain access to the interior and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow? Yes, Captain. I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. You are dismissed. Quite a risky operation. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. We're used to your crazy missions by now, aren't we, guys? Yeah, you bet. Nothing bothers me anymore now. Hmm. And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. We'll do it for Isara, and all the other friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. 
One more victory, and they'll have peace. Words fail me. Thank you. All right. Everybody, get ready to deploy. Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Militia rides into Rand Grease Showdown. Mind if I put you all story on the radio? I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. But I'd like to do what I can to stand by you, as ace journalist Irene Ellett. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. Irene Ellett, huh? I can't remember ever hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. That's how it was described in the book, Irene, Irene Kohler. So she wrote the book of it. This'll be my last big assignment as an Ellet. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. Alrighty then. What's this optional one? Give me a status report on affixing the lance. Work should be complete shortly, followed by final testing, sir. Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. Yes, sir. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it! He's getting close. He's getting really, really close. Now, your highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <clears throat> your grace, sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, the Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated. Now the militia is headed here to Rangris even as we speak. What? Newsflash from Radio GBS, your source for the news. The Gallian militia has faced and thwarted the Empire's defenses at Vassal Bridge. They march now to the capital to liberate it from occupation. All right! That's my bro, Welkin! My yank! Huh. Huh. Reckon I did a fair job whipping those kids into shape. Keep your faith alive. Turn and face the threat ahead and fight. Go, Welkies, go. We're all cheering for you. Now make us proud. <laughs> Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. So be it. We shall fight them off ourselves. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir! <laughs> Last time their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now for all time. Your Grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense of Castle Randgreens uh -huh. to me. Do we look the fool that might trust a dog with so little loyalty to his master as you? Put this man to death by firing squad. The Galia of tomorrow has no place for him. Mm -hmm. Mac Maximilian! We had agreed! We had an understanding! Alright, come along! Stop this! Desistant ones, who are you to touch me?
Welkin, you are our final hope. Please, I beg of you, make victory yours. That's one huge lens here. Well, let's see what this is all about. What else can we do here? Marmota sighted ahead, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. What the? What's that big pointy thing on top? I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian Lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmota's forward path! Move it! The Gallian militias fanned out ahead of us in a line, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. The greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens, shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it, a leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles, Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth! Well, that doesn't sound good. has fired an unidentified beam of light. Squads four and five have been wiped out. Hot damn. If we'd been one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing. Move around to its side. <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? We wield power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here. Okay. Okay. I knew it was not gonna be that easy. Like... Ah... I thought that we would get into the finale and I was actually really glad that there weren't any missions or anything but as i can see it right now there are two more missions for us to go and honestly i was not prepared for such turn of event so because of that unfortunately i will probably have to make it just as a single short session So you guys saw what exactly is going on, but next time, next time for sure, 
we will be dealing with that ourselves. Until next time, guys. Bye.